kwenye kipindi chetu cha leo tunakuletea hadithi ya mafanikio kutoka Rongai kaunti ya Nakuru ambapo tunakutana na bwana Charles mmoja wa wakulima wa maziwa wanaoangazia kilimo bora na chenye tija leo tunaingia ndani ya shamba lake ili kuona jinsi anavyotunza ngombe wake akiangazia lishe bora usafi na mbinu za kisasa za ufugaji kupitia hekima na uzoefu wake Bwana Charles anatufundisha umuhimu wa kuanzisha na kutunza malisho bora yanayowapa ngombe nguvu na afya bora na mbinu za kilimo endelevu zinazoyasaidia zaidi katika ufugaji bora wa ngombe wa maziwa. Ashukran sana kwenye sehemu ya kwanza tutakuwa tunazungumza na mzee Charles ili aweze kutueleza je shamba hili ni nini hasa anafanya na labda maisha yake ilikuwa vipi safari yake ya maisha imekuwa vipi leo tutakuwa tunajifunza mengi zaidi kumbuka wewe mtazamaji wetu wa mamlaka na pia kilimo faida tutahakikisha kwamba leo unapata mafunzo mengi zaidi kuhusiana na kilimo karibu sana mzee sisi ni tumewasili tumesema ya kwamba leo lazima tukutembelee mzee Charles Asante asante karibu Naona umejipanga vema kabisa wanyama wanapendeza <laughs> <laughs> eh? Karibu karibu Pemacho Farm Yes na tumeshukuru Mhm Hii Pemacho Farm mambo ya ukulima Mhm Ilikuwa kwa maindi yangu nikiwa kazini yes. nilifanya kazi kwa serikali nilifanya miaka 38 sasa sasa ile nimepakisha miaka sita. Mhm. Nikaona the best way to go is to do farming. Yes. To keep me busy. And uh, I'll be having something to do when I wake up in the morning. Yes. So that's when I went to Kitunguri. No, I started putting up this structure first. Nikaweka hii structure almost a year from 2009. Yes. Then 2010 I went to Kitunguri. I got six havers in capped. Kaza ndio nilileta hapa nikaanza nikajenga structure hii tikaingia. Simili ali ukafika hapo. Najua nataka tukuje sasa hapo ndo tuelezea utaelezea farmers wetu waweze kuelewa. Lakini kwanza tunataka utuelezee tumeskip tu ambapo inaitwa the the eh the macho farm. Wasalimia watazamaji waambie unaitwa nani alafu tuambie farm yako farm ina maanisha nini alafu sasa tuje kula kwingine. Oh, fam, uh, santi kwa kutusikiza. Yes. Hii farm yako farm is a family name. In fact it's a combination of my family members eh. eh that is Francis Edgar Mumanyi Arnold and Nasisi sasa. Yes. So we came up with this structure. We had a piece in Spider 10 before then we transferred it to it was in the farm a farming business it was a business somewhere then we said to make it a farm now agriculture mm. so we came i after leaving the i was in the service and i was doing these structures but when i left the service i went to those animals the the the, the, the cows then uh, as You know when when you are, when when you people are working yes you try to collect some ideas from friends when i retire i think i will do this i will do this i will do this me i picked for me <laughs> and i mean let me go and do this because it will be keeping me so busy i wake up in the morning i go to the farm it's mm-hmm. about 6 kilometers from where i live yes and uh, so that's why i bought this structure once i'm here i feel like i'm in the office Hmm? I got good workers then uh, we just took off by starting with six in calf havers. Mm-hmm. Then uh, after three months they calf down we started to uh, 
selling our milk now. Okay. Yeah. So mzee um tunaangalia vizuri naona umejenga na kokoto, umejenga na simiti na juu umekabaki na market space. Sijui labda unaweza kutuelezea ni mbona uliamua kutumia mfumo kujenga? Hii sasa ilikuwa mambo ya security of the animals. Yes. Uh-huh. Security, eh? Uh-huh. Yaani hata kama ni whatever, yes. yani kitu isiingie. Yes. Video watu wali approve hata watu wa animals whatever pet wakisema okay. weka structure kama hii yes, yes, kwa yes. kwa ngombe okay ndio hata itakuwa rahisi kwa wale watu wako wanafanya kazi okay. to manage ukiongelea yes. security what do you mean by saying the security okay unaongelea in terms of theft ama which security are you talking about security in your this place was like we were the big pioneers here yes oh yeah the pioneer here yes. oh yeah i do understand now so, so the first people when you listen to who this is your what was once mimi mtu wa kwanza kabisa kutenga hapa eka 800 na kitu yes yes so ikakuwa ni mm. forest kuna mm. forest yuko eh sasa hata animals zinaweza tembea hapa si eh kana waje tuweke security ya kutosha at least hata ku manage hao watu wangu yes yes itakuwa rich ku manage okay what about the spacing hii zote ni hewa hii yeah? oh yes hii uh, ni hewa yes yeah. ana it, it is enough ventilation you need to ventilation kila mahali yes uh, okay ya ni ventilation factory na hui that atam point ni yes ni yes ngombe okay perfect mzee nikiangalia naona mazingira hapa yanapendeza usiona kwa kweli ni kusafi sijui siri ni nini eh siri ya usafi ni ikukua na watu wasavi wenyewe yes yes na watu ni watu wanaelewa mm-hmm. bado vijana wanaelewa kabisa hata wao wenyewe ni wasafi hata naona wana okay <laughs> oh, wanafagia wanaendelea wanaendelea ku yes yes kufagia. yes na maji ni iko ya kutosha oso oh, maji na tumeosha eh hey, wanaosha oh. wanaosha kabisa unaona hata hizo matu zote mchoshu yes so usavi ndio kitu ya kwanza kabisa mm-hmm. eh, hata pet wanasema usafi mm-hmm. so hiyo ndio sababu naona na ngara ngara tu na ngarisa ngarisa hiyo So mzee hapa ndio place ya kukamulia. Hapa sasa uh-huh. ngombe tatu zinaingia at the same time. Okay. Kwa hiyo niko na wafanyakazi watatu. Yes. Wanakamua hapa ngombe tatu at once. Yes. Toka nyingine tatu. Yes. Hivyo hivyo wanawekea okay. maziwa pale. Okay. Ku record kile kitu. Ona recordiwa. Mm. So uko na hadi na mtu wa ku record. Hey, ya ku record ku check the record to ensure that everything is okay. Ngombe. Okay. Ni vita ngapi? Yes. Okay. Na sasa nimeona hapa place kuna sehemu ya yeah, chakula. Ndio sasa hapa tunaweka kanola na dairy. Okay. Mm, Ukizungumzia dairy meal ni, ni kama gana gandi at least wale wakulima wote nyanda wa kujua. Dairy meal tunatumia fugo fugo. Oh fugo. Mm. Oh, okay. Na hiyo ni nyinyi wenyewe mnajitengenezea mama mnanunua. Ah tunaangua hiyo. Hiyo mnanunua. Ile kitu tunachiundia hapa ni sile. Yes, ah. yes. Watu wako interested kujua maziwa yanatoka kiasi gani? Ngombe wako wanatoa maziwa kiasi gani? Ya kwa ngombe moja kwa siku kwa lita. Na you talking about the liters. Oh, oh. The highest inakuwa 30, 30 liter per day. 15 Ay. ama 16, 14. Na mzee uko na ngombe ya 14. Si umeniambia 14 ama 12. What the total? Yes. Na wenyewe wanakamuliwa na kama ngombe. Wanakamuliwa ni 8. 8. So what tuseme mwenye Sema wachini kabisa na toni kama 10 liter. Yeah. Yaani kwa siku uko na pesa mingi zaidi ya maziwa. Na report mwelekezo wangu hapo tunafaa kwa na kuna mambo mengi zaidi ambayo tutakuja kutakuja tuzungumzie kwenye sehemu ya pili. Ile ndio kwanza sehemu ya pili tuzungumze na mama pia tueleze chakula na pia na vipi. Yeah. Alafu tutarejea kwenye sehemu ya mwisho. Um, na ya kwamba kwa kweli ni kipindi cha mapumziko. Ila tunarejea muda usio mrefu ambao tutakuwa tunazungumzia mengi zaidi. Usibanduke usiondoke hapo. Mimi ni Daniel Kihoro.